Training your dog an irresistible emergency recall word can literally save your dog's life. If you'd like to learn about training, emergency recall, and choosing an appropriate word, then please stick around. If you'd like to make life better for you and your dog, the Border Collies and I would love you to join us. Yay! Good job! The first step to emergency recall is understanding that this is a word that you want to use that is going to be different than all other recall words that you use. So if you use the word here or come or whatever words you use, your emergency recall word is not going to be any of those words. You need to pick a word that is not used regularly in your vocabulary. I used to have an emergency recall word and the word was right now and my dogs would just come barreling over except the problem I had was that I used those words too much in my regular vocabulary. I have a new dog Skeen and he's not very good at recall yet and I need to train him and so this is a great opportunity to come up with a new word. The word that I have chosen is the word venu. Now the word venu is Esperanto and I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right. It doesn't matter. It's actually, you can make up a word, but whatever word you use, you want it to be a word that you just don't really use in any other context. It's also really important to choose a treat that your dog absolutely loves. So whatever you choose, it's gotta be something really exceptional, not the regular kibble or kind of your lower value treats. This has to be super high value. So pick something that you know your dog will completely salivate over. When you reward your dog, it's not just going to be one treat. It's what we call a jackpot. It's like the dog has hit the jackpot and he or she is getting a boatload of yummy, yummy treats. For this first step of emergency recall, we want to keep a close proximity to our dog. So basically in the same room, we're going to stay indoors and we're going to keep the distance fairly minimal, just a few feet again, where the dog is just absolutely responding to you without any problem at all. My dogs have just been on their walk and they have had something to eat, but I give them very small meals because I like to allow a little bit of food for training. And what I'm going to give them is some cheese and some pepperoni. Now, cheese and pepperoni are not part of their regular food intake. And so this is something special and I know they're gonna love this. And I can pretty much tell that they really love this by the way they're hovering around me <laughs> as I cut it up, but I don't wanna reward that hovering. And so, I'm going to wait for them to settle a bit before I use my emergency command. Now I know my dogs will come no matter what word I use right now because they really love this pepperoni and this cheese and so I'm giving them a slight distance but if your dog is not as food motivated you might want to be a little bit closer when you first try this. Now I'm going to use my command and I just know the three dogs are going to come running to me, Manu! which they do. And Manu I'm going to reward generously yeah. and I'm going to use a lot of praise. Yes, good puppy. Good job. Now I don't need to use a whole lot of praise in this scenario because I know that they just love the food, but we want to make this into a really special experience for the dogs yeah. so that this emergency word has huge value to it. So whatever your dog absolutely loves, if they associate that to this word, it's going to really help for them to respond to it. But we have to start in small steps and that's the key to almost all dog training. We all want things to happen overnight, but we learn gradually and so do dogs. So we're gonna start by doing this three times a day and we wanna make sure that every time we use this word that our dogs are guaranteed to come running to us. So if there's a chance that your dog might be distracted by something else, do not use this word. So you want to use this word only when your dogs are kind of attentive or maybe a little bit bored or wanting some sort of interaction, but use it and reward heavily no matter what the distance. The only thing you want to be careful about is not rewarding for another behavior, like I said, like the hovering. So we want to make sure that you reward 
for the coming to you. Even if that, if you give them a foot or two distance, you can also help get the idea across by moving away from the dog so that they do have to come to you for the food. Now I'm saying three times a day to do this exercise, but actually you can do it more than three times. The reason I suggest three times is there's a three times rule in dog training and the same rule actually exists in advertising. I used to work in commercial production and there's a three times rule that after three times, something seems more factual. It just sticks better. I, I don't know if there's actually studies around this, but the three times rule is really well known in, in television advertisement and it works with dogs as well. So three times a day is a great amount at least to start with, but do it whenever you can, do it randomly, do it unpredictably. It should be something super fun and sometimes unexpected so that your dog gets to know that this word is full of excitement and fun. So this video today is your first step in a really bomb-proof emergency recall. We're obviously going to move outside eventually and to different scenarios, but we have to start by making sure that every time we use this word that our dogs are guaranteed to come. If we put them in a scenario where they might be distracted by something else or someone may show up at the doorstep, it's really not going to reinforce what we need. We need for the dog to feel in their body that every time they hear this word, they have to come driving towards us. And that's what we're building. Try not to be predictable though, because you do need some randomness for this exercise to work. But try it at least three times a day. You can vary when, if it has to all be three times later in the evening, not one after the other, hopefully, but that's okay too. But you know, try to vary it to different times a day if you can. Once you've chosen your emergency word, I'd love to know what the word you chose was and why you chose it. So please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And this cat is so freaking annoying. <laughs> Seriously. Once your dog is completely bomb proof about coming to you every single time you use your emergency word, we're going to move on to the next step. And once I have that next step videoed, I'll post it somewhere around here. See you there.